Hey Broadway.com, welcome to another episode of Miracle Man here backstage at the Lund Fontaine at Motown the Musical. Um, I'm here today, uh, today is actually the 12 year anniversary of September 11th and I just wanted to um, start out by dedicating this week's episode to all of those who we lost um, on that day 12 years ago today. Um, you know, at the time, September 11th, 2001, I actually was living in LA. Uh, I was, had just graduated from college and, um, you know, I happened to be awakened to the news reports of the first tower being hit. And um, I woke up and started watching the news and I, I remember watching the second plane hit the second tower live um, on the news. And at that point, it really stuck with me and something really struck me. Um, I had just graduated, as I said, from uh, theater school at USC. and my dream had always been to move to New York and uh, at that time I thought that I might never get the opportunity to uh, move to New York after that because it wouldn't be a safe place to live and I didn't quite I wasn't able to fathom how we might be able to be able to move forward um, with life the way we knew it um, and though things have changed drastically um, we are still moving forward and of course here I am in New York now and performing on Broadway and today is a two-show day here on Broadway and I'm just so thankful that um, our country has come this far. So I just wanted to start this episode off by um, taking a time out to remember that and um, to say how proud I am to be an American, how proud I am to be a New Yorker, and um, I hope that we can all live our lives uh, free and brave. Hey, Broadway.com. So it is a two-show day, as I told you before, and I'm on my way to dinner with my good friend, Patina Miller. Oh, hey. oh I'm sorry. Tony Award winner, <laughs> Patina Miller. Hey. We're gonna go grab some stuff. And look, she has on her Broadway.com shirt. Always show. rep it. I love Broadway.com. <laughs> so, Patina, how has life been recently for you? What, life, what's going on? Uh, life has been crazy. Yeah. Um, it hasn't stopped since um, the Tony Awards. Yes, but, or know, since the announcements came out for the, the nominations. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. It's been crazy, but I just kind of been just having a good time because we've been having such amazing audiences and everything. Yeah. And um, really, we've just been on this crazy ride, just trying to stay sane and stay healthy, you know, because um, it's a lot of work and just keeping my body up to the task and, you know, taking care of myself, but we're having a great time. Yeah, and the show was fantastic and you were fantastic in it, Thank as you, you know. Um, I'm sitting here in my dressing room, minding my own business, <laughs> mentally preparing for our championship game tomorrow, and I just got some very exciting news. Donald Lover Jr., would you like to explain? That's great, Mike. I just received word that Rock of Ages, the two-time defending champions of Broadway Softball League, is going to have to forfeit their game tomorrow. And that game happens to be the second championship game. We are the champions. We are the champions, my friends. I mean, I would have rather played I know, and beat them for it. Play, but it was, a, it was a great season. Yeah. And thanks to everybody who came out and supported us this season. We'll see you next year. Yeah. We are the champions. You heard it here. Hey, Broadway.com. All right. So, it's official. We are the champions. I just got this text message today. Well, I woke up this morning. Which means Motown is now the Broadway Show League champions. And I get to sleep in. It's a really good day. Okay, Broadway.com. All right, we got a story to tell you. What in the world? <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. We on stage doing Shop Around. Now, Ryan Shaw not only plays Stevie Wonder, but he also plays Bobby, one of, Bobby, one of the Miracles, okay? So we're on stage, minding our business, doing Shop Around, and next thing I know... Well, wait, well let's, let's preface this. Okay, preface it, yeah. Last, um, about a week ago, uh -huh. we, we know in the city, the last few days, we've been very heavy rain. Yeah. We've had a lot of rain. Okay, <laughs> now, let's go to the Okay, second. and so the gutters <laughs> backed up, and there was a flood backstage yes. where we they keep our costumes. So... What happened was there was a roach infestation a couple days ago. And I mean water bug roaches, like size of yo, like two right. eyes. Like yeah, they're going to get you. That. Like, yeah. <laughs> so I'm on stage, minding my business, doing my gig. Shopping around. Shopping around. Just shopping Just around. Just shopping around. And next thing I know, Juwan, one of the other miracles, is hitting me on my back. 
And I'm like, why is he touching me? What is going on? While you sing it. While, while I'm singing. Good it's solo. Song. Right. Like, no feature. No. I turn around and they are in hysterics behind me because there is a roach crawling crawling all over my costume. Yes. On and stage. I'm thinking at first, because I see Juwan go, he's looking real serious. <laughs> he's pointing back towards like the audience booths. I mean, smoke is in front of him. I'm thinking that something drastic is happening in the audience. Yeah. I'm no. like, Lord, I don't know, Lord, please let nobody jump up here. Am I, I going to be Marine again? Right, exactly, because like, he used to be a flashback. Marine. So. I was like, Lord, I don't know what I'm about to do. But then I see this thing crawl over his shoulder, mm -hmm. back here. Spin out and come back here. Meanwhile, he right, was he like, had choreography and everything. The road. Yeah, and he got here on the on the elbow, and he was like, and then tried to do, try to get yourself a bug. <laughs> and when he flipped him off his shoulder, he flew. You know, because the water boats can fly too, <laughs> flying ropes. So he flying back towards Maurice, and Maurice starts screaming. Jawan stops singing, <laughs> and Sasha is no good. She's laughing. barely on stage anymore. She's and, about to be off stage. And so we did a whole three and a half minute chop around <laughs> as a duet. As a duet, just because we were the only two singers. So please. Sasha, here's Sasha right now. Do you Jesus! Want to... <laughs> that, and that's what she did on stage. Yes. In front of the audience. It was so many words and movements, yes. <laughs> I, never, I was crazy. standing behind Smokey like this. <laughs> and I was like, I need, I should, I should knock it off of his shoulder. But I, I, can't. I in my mind. <laughs> she said, she said, I physically could do it, but I mentally could. That's I what she said. We're gonna say. Psychologically, <laughs> mentally, I could not handle the road. I was, I was literally in shock. I was like, I'm standing on a Broadway stage behind Smokey Robinson. I was like, cockroach on his shoulder. Oh, yeah, Jesus. So that duet happened. That, yeah, so that happened. Did you talk about the shimmy? Yeah. <laughs> I got it I'm trying to get yourself a bag and tell it. I don't know you, so it was a lot of And then it flies <laughs> off his shoulder. And starts and then flying. And it takes a short flight. It's like spinning. It's like, oh! <laughs> like all the way upstage. Like, people are screaming. I'm like listening to the song and being like, why are there parts missing? Because I'm laughing. <laughs> laughing. I'm and Juwan is not singing. Juwan is just like... Well, all of a sudden, Juwan's like, there's a cockroach on somebody's shoulder. I was like, no, there's not a cockroach on He's like, I saw the smoky's back. So I'm like... <laughs> 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 And there's nothing we can do. Ooh, there's nothing we can do, but the show do. must go on. The show did go the on. The show went on. As a duet. As <laughs> a duet. As a duet. <laughs> As a duet. 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 As for what? For Broadway.com? Sure, yeah. Okay, right. so what's your name? Jason Livingston. Jason, what brings you to Motown today? I'm from Houston, Texas, and I happen to know Juwan's story personally. Oh, you know Juwan's story? Okay. He's one of my miracles as well. Okay. So, um, so you're from Houston, Texas. How long? When did you get here? We got here Friday. Okay. Are you a Motown music fan? I'm a Motown music fan. I'm okay. a Broadway fan. You're a Broadway fan, cool. All right, well, it's, it's nice to meet you. You're my fan feature for the week. All right, cool, there we go. Hey, Broadway.com. So we are still here with my two-show day, and um, I just had dinner with my Broadway bestie. Um, any of you who follow me on Broadway.com know exactly who that is. Uh, we are here in his dressing room. Say hi, hi to Broadway. people, sir. <laughs> so um, we're here in Stark Sands' dressing room over at Kinky Boots. Isn't it great and nice and spacious? Um, so really quickly, Stark, uh, tell me how you feel about being uh, on Broadway in this show. You guys won the Tony. You were nominated for a Tony. Must be a fun experience. I have always said and told my younger cousins and things that if you can find something that you love to do mm -hmm. and and make a living doing it, then you are the luckiest person in the world. And that's how I feel doing this. I yeah. feel so lucky to have found something that number one I love doing, and number two, I'm I'm good at, I guess. You are. And 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 to he is. <laughs> <laughs> And to actually be able to make a living and, and be happy and there's so many people I think do other things and they and their hobbies are what they're passionate about. But I get the best of both worlds. That's so that's I, very sweet. I, I completely agree yeah, with that. Yeah. I think anybody who's doing this and makes it to this level has to feel that way. It's just yeah. too many people want to be here to take it for granted. Yeah. You know, it's a it's a special thing. I feel great. Cool. Even on a two show day. Even on a two-show day. 
All right, well, I'm going to go. I'm going to let Stark get his nap in. And um, I will catch up with you guys later. But I had to, of course, you know, show my Broadway bestie because this is Broadway.com. What? <laughs> what? All right, bye. bye. All right, Broadway.com. It's coming to the end of another week. It's not quite the end, but it's another Saturday night on Broadway. So every Saturday night, we have a thing called Snob. Saturday night on Broadway. We gather in Brandon's room. So I'll just give you a little preview of what happens in here. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, hey. Don't listen to him, he's not All right. <laughs> All right. That's Saturday night on Broadway. What can I say? This is, this is what we did here. Hey, Broadway.com. So it's been another exciting week here. I hope you enjoyed episode four of Miracle Man. Uh, four is uh, one of my favorite numbers for those of you out there who understand why. Um, anyways, I'll catch up with you again next week. Bye. Take care. I'm going to start.